Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices for the week. Some of the things you guys have asked about and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Yeah, since we come into Meyer here, notice they got their Honey Crisp apples on sale, $1.49 a pound. It's pretty good for Honey Crisp apples. However, all the cheaper apples are going to cost a little bit more this week. $1.69 a pound now for the Gala, Pink Lady, Granny Smith, Fuji, Golden Delicious, and the Red Delicious apples. $1.69 a pound. I know I pointed this out last week, but I wanted to show again they do have the three pound bags of the Fuji, Red Delicious, Gala, Golden, and the McIntosh apples. $4.89. Now these are down from $5.09, so good to see them. Not much down in price but good to see it drop a little three pound bag of the mandarins on sale the darling clementines gotta say you know i'm finding a couple bad ones in these um i'm sure you can find one that has all good ones but you might have to search around a little bit 2.99 for a three pound bag though pretty good deal they do have the navel oranges on sale the single navel oranges you do have to buy three of them to get the if they're a dollar a piece when you get three of them but $1.29 for one regular price, so three for three, not bad. $4.29 for the personal watermelons, that is up from $3.99. $5.19 for three pounds of Bartlett pears. And we're seeing these prices have gone up to $1.99 a pound for pretty much all the pears. Pretty pricey for that. They do have the red plums. I've gotten some comments on these, uh, $2.99 a pound. Celery's really dropped in price here. It's $1.69 each now. This was up over $2, a little less than a month ago for a thing of celery. $1.99 for a head of lettuce. Now, the one thing I will say, this lettuce looks a lot better than we've seen at a lot of other stores. Most stores we've been seeing lettuce been all brown, real nasty. Uh, but $1.99, you know, it's a little more expensive, but it's pretty much $1.79 everywhere right now. Some we've seen over $2, but yeah, at least it looks good. I did notice that the three pound bag of carrots did go up from $2.49 a bag to $2.79. And look right here, broccoli crowns, $1.69 for this, $1.69. This was already too high at $1.39, $1.39 last week, $1.69 this week, crazy. Romaine lettuce has gone up too. And I gotta say, always check make sure you're getting one that's fresh you might have to move it around a little bit to make sure they're all good um yeah 399 for these now now 449 at kroger um but these were 369 just a week or two ago so romaine lettuce for some reason or another is going up in price they have cranberries here uh it's a pretty small bag 12 ounces for 249 it is the ocean spray uh kroger's had those too and they've got the broccoli in the plastic, which I don't like. Uh, let's see, $2.99 a pound now. This was $2.89 last week, so this has gone up a dime. Again, bananas are very low. Um, we're seeing this everywhere. We're getting a lot of comments on it. They got some uh, picked early bananas over here. I thought these were plantains at first. No, those are bananas. Uh, let's see what this says over here. Green appeal, low in sugar, high in fiber. Okay, so maybe this is a different kind of banana. They do have their green seedless grapes on sale for 99 cents a pound this week. However, the black and red seedless grapes are still $1.99 a pound, which is better than what the regular price was a few weeks ago. Uh, these were $2.49 to $2.99. It kept fluctuating there for a little while. But $1.99 now regular price on the red and black and 99 cents a pound for the green grapes. Wanted to show they got blackberries on sale this week. The six ounce packages of them for $1.49. Regular price, $2.99 on these now. $3.49 for a pound of strawberries. They have taken down the sign for the two pat or the two pounds of strawberries. Now, I will say these look pretty good. Same price at Kroger now. Uh, and there's no break in the two pounds at Kroger. It's $6.98 for two pounds, $3.49 for one pound. They only have the well picked ones here. The brand they have driscoll at uh kroger so if you like driscoll you have to go to kroger this week myers just gets in whatever they can it seems like sometimes they have this other brand here i've had the well-picked ones before they are pretty good make sure you check make sure you know they look good and everything they also have pints of blueberries for two dollars and 99 cents that is down from 335 
So they have the Welch's Red Seedless Grapes on sale this week for $5.99. That is down from $7.99. No sign on the green grapes. Uh, so I don't know if those are $5.99 or $7.99. So they have a sale on the Welch's Bicolor Seedless Grapes, but I've never seen those here at Meyer. Uh, the sale is $2.99 down from $7.99. So if you can find that at your Meyer, that is a great deal. Wanted to check the middle aisle from over at the front here. You always wanna check the big middle aisles here at Meyer. This is where you'll find a lot of things for the holidays. They've got their stove top here, $1.99. Regular price on this is $2.39. Uh, they're two for four at Kroger right now. They show that their regular price is $3.29 on these, but uh, a couple people are saying that they never actually sell it for that. I don't know. I wouldn't trust that. Um, while you can get it for $2 a box, I would get it for $2 a box. Just go ahead and get it now. That way you have it. They do have their broth on sale, the Swanson Chicken Broth. Um, $1.99 down from $2.69. Regular price at Kroger's is $2.99. Don't know if they have theirs on sale yet. We'll be going to Kroger here in a couple days. $1.99 though if you use Swanson. Uh, we've been using the one at Aldi when we do use it. We usually use bouillon cubes because it's way cheaper and better in my opinion. If, but uh, the, the ones at Aldi are $1.29 all the time, regular price. And I, I think it's just as good or better than Swanson. And they do have their apple cider here at Meyer. The Blake's brand's going to run a little much at $7.99, but they do have the Hayes brand here which we've gotten a lot of good comments on, $6.79 for this one. I don't know how all Myers is shaping up around with their impossible options, possible burgers, sausages, beyond the beef and stuff, but they have a dedicated area here for this stuff now. And I, I like seeing this because we have a lot of people on the channel that love the impossible options beyond the burger and all that. And hopefully you have a Meyer where you can get this stuff. But we're seeing, we're seeing places like Meyer and Kroger start to have more options for people. And that's that's what we want, options. So we got a comment on a video we did at Meyer a couple weeks ago and someone was saying they couldn't find the Earthbound Farms uh, different greens that they have here. Um, you know, I'm noticing different packaging here. And this has been low at ours too. So I'm noticing different packaging though. So I'm wondering if this is actually smaller. These are five ounces, five ounces now. I feel like these used to be a little bigger. Um, I don't know what the ounces were on it before though, so I really have no reference to that. It is 329, 329. I don't know if that'll go up though, because that's what it's been for a while. We have seen these as, as high as 349, so I don't know how much they might have cut out of this, but this is definitely, definitely new packaging. So I would keep your eye out now. They'll probably start coming back in your Meyer. Hopefully not at a higher price. But yeah, usually when this happens, they'll, they'll bring it out. It's maybe smaller and then we'll see the price go up maybe in a couple few weeks. Not sure, you know, but that's, that's the trend that we kind of see going on. We've gotten a lot of comments on these chopped kits in the past here. For one, they're getting them in again. For two, they're on sale. Dollar off, $3.99 now. These were $3.49 not that long ago. Uh, $2.99 on sale though, but more importantly, They've got a lot of them in here. I mean, usually there's like one or two packs in here. It's been empty for the longest time. Those look like they're coming in and good sale on them. I personally think that it's pretty amazing that Marzetti has kept their prices down um, on all of their dressings. The ranch here, this is the smaller one for $4.49. Now, this one here was $4.99 like over a year ago over a year ago this is still the better deal 5.99 for this this is uh 22 ounces and this one let me put that down here this one is 13 ounces so yeah that's the better deal there and it's awesome that they have not raised their prices on this knock on wood see a lot of savings on t-bone steaks here they got an extra 20 percent off but you see here, they were charging $12.99 a pound. So, I don't know. Okay, so that is off the sale price of $9.99 a pound. 20% off makes this steak $12.22. <sighs> For a sale like that, I feel like that's a bit much. But still, you know, you would pay $15.28 without this 20% off. Um, so, it's probably getting ready to expire, right? So, you just take it home and eat it tonight or tomorrow. 
or, or just freeze it and then just make sure when you thaw it out that you eat it that day. I had to get a ad here because I wanted to make sure we weren't missing anything. I have not a lot of stickers up here. Last week was kind of the same thing. We found some other sales anyway. BOGO alert on the beef, lamb, or pork roast. Select varieties. Buy one, get one 50% off. Uh, buy one, get one of equal or lesser value 50% off. Guys, bring your calculator when you come to Meyer. Somebody left a comment about Laura's Lean Beef, and you haven't been able to find it. Um, you know, it, it depends. I mean, it's kind of, it's always hit or miss anymore. It is $8.99 a pound here, which is pretty expensive. Uh, we saw it on sale a couple weeks ago at Kroger for $7.99 a pound. Don't know if it's still that, but they do have it here at Meyer. We also got some comments on the Genio ground turkey and that it's been very hard to find. They do sell it pretty consistently here at Meyer. Uh, we saw where it was gone at Kroger a couple weeks ago, but they probably just hadn't gotten any in yet. Uh, they do have the Purdue here on sale. $3.99 a package here regularly, so it's basically $3.99 a pound. That is for this one over here. This one is $5.99. Yeah, no. That says one pound. Okay. 16 now, 16. So it is just this one. This one isn't on sale, but I don't. Okay, $11.99 here. $11.99 for the three pounds, 48 ounces. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see. That would be 4, 8, 12. So it's the same price. So the sale price of this is going to be what you pay for this. Really, this would be nice because you could buy three of these, put a couple of them in the freezer. I'm not going to go over all the pork sales because there are a lot of them, but I am seeing some pretty good deals. I got the pork chops here, $1.79 a pound, um, $2.29 a pound for the center cut, I believe that is. Uh, the blade chops, all natural, $2.29 a pound for those. Pork loin here, $1.79 a pound. I said I wasn't going to go over all of them, and here I am. <laughs> uh, pork stew meat, all natural, $2.49 a pound. You know, all kinds of sales on this and these flavored like tenderloins here uh, pork tender Let's see buy one get one 40% off of equal or lesser value on these so yeah make sure you got your calculator handy when you're shopping at Meyer. these deals could work out but remember you're gonna be paying the full regular price on these when you get the 40% off so you do got to kind of do the math okay so I wanted to show they do have their thighs on sale this week $1.49 a pound that is down from $1.99 a pound. And the chicken breast, good price, $2.49 a pound. This is down from $3.29 a pound. Meyer's chicken breast is some of our favorite. Very flavorful, good chicken right here, and a good price. So if you have a Meyer near you and you need chicken, now it's time. Well, one thing is for sure Meyer's is definitely selling turkeys because um, this was completely full when we were here last week. My question is, is what like okay so dollar 99 a pound for the Meyer. we've seen cheaper than that especially for store brand um butterball this was 249 a pound yeah 249 a pound why are people buying these i mean they're cheaper pretty much everywhere myers needs to drop the prices on these pretty quickly i mean i don't know maybe they don't need to people are buying them anyway uh you should really do your research and uh, find out, you know, I saw them at Aldi for $1.59 a pound. Same Butterball. I will say our Walmart had Butterball turkeys for $1.18 a pound on a rollback offer. And they had, uh, some people were saying they had the Genio. And then they had the Honeysuckle for $0.98 cents a pound. So you may want to check Walmart in case you missed that video. So I know some people were looking for hams. I uh, don't see any here in Meyer. This is where they usually are. Got some, I mean, cut... I don't know if you're looking for whole hams. Got this here, the Kentucky Legend. Uh, they do have one thing of cooks, the shank portion ham. But this isn't cheap. $2.49 a pound. So, eh, yeah, not cheap. But uh, they do have some of the Sugardale Prestige. The um, center slice smoke ham. But, yeah, it might be a little early for... My, my, I don't feel like Meyer starts selling the big hams for another couple, like mid-November. We'll see as we come and check. But uh, they do have the Country Inn Sugardale boneless ham here. Let's see. This is thirty. This is three ninety-nine a pound, though. Three ninety-nine a pound. Okay, so we've been getting a lot of comments on Thomas bagels lately. I did want to say uh, you guys will be seeing this video on Tuesday, November first. 
Uh, and you will have until Tuesday night to get the Kroger deal of the buy one, get one free. Now, Kroger's raised their prices big time on the Thomas Bagels. They are $4.79, but it's buy one, get one free. Meyer does have an offer here this week, two dollar or two for three two for seven dollars, making them three fifty a bag. So if that sale's over, if you're closest to Meyer, at least they're on sale a little bit. I have a feeling that this is gonna be going up in price though. Somebody had asked about the Bavita snack bars and said that you've been having trouble finding them. They do have them now. They have raised the prices on these to four dollars and nineteen cents. They were three ninety nine. Um, but we noticed these have been low for a while, and this is probably why they were bringing them back in at a higher price. So I remember a couple weeks ago when we were at Dollar Tree, some people were asking about the animal crackers, if they were the original. They are the Stouffer's original here. Uh, Stouffer's, I would say that. They are the original animal crackers, but I want to show you this. Regular price of these now is $2.59. The same exact same size bag, 8 ounces at Dollar Tree, is $1.25. So you could get two of these for the price of one of these. They are on sale for three for five dollars, but you do have to buy three of them, and that's still more expensive than a bag at Dollar Tree. They do have Triscuits on sale, two for six dollars. You do have to buy two. It's not like Kroger where you can just buy one. Uh, it says when you buy two or more. Uh, three ninety nine regular price now. So these prices have gone up as well. I will say Meyer has the most variety of Triscuits I've seen anywhere. Coming out in the middle aisle here, they do have 24 packs of Pop, uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or 7-Up products, $10.99, not the best sale we've seen. $12.79 regular price now, though. They do have, when you buy four or more, uh, it says Coca-Cola products, though. Doesn't say anything about Pepsi. $2.50 a piece, regular price, $4.89 for one, which is insane. But four for ten of Coke products. These are Pepsi. I don't know if these are on here too. They might be. They just didn't put it on the sign. Um, but yeah, it seems like a pretty decent deal. Wanted to check out some of the coffee sales. They have the Seattle's Best here on sale for $4.29. Um, for some of them, the smaller ones here, these are the 12 ounces. These ones uh, are 12 ounces as well, but they're like different blends, I guess way more expensive uh, so if you happen to miss they are doing something where on the select coffee products if you buy ten dollars you get two dollars off your next trip if you spend 15 you get four dollars off your next trip so keep that in mind when you're looking at the sales here uh, Duncan which is not on sale but it is part of this deal and part of this deal of which is on sale of the 20 ounces of Duncan on sale for $11.99 and you can get this deal with that included. So you really gotta kinda do the math, but this seems well worth it. Now the Pete's Coffee is on sale for $8.99, but it is not. Doesn't look like this is part of that deal because they will have a sticker next to it like this if it is, because it says on select coffee products, which the Pete's Coffee doesn't have that on here. They also have the Javalia Coffee on here for $8.49 on sale, but I don't see, that's not part of the buy 10, save two on your next trip, or buy 15, save four on your next trip. So you gotta keep that in mind. They do have the uh, Starbucks select varieties here. This is on this deal, on sale for $7.99 uh, for the 12 ounces, and they do have some of the bigger ones here on sale also, and part of this deal. Green Mountain Coffee is on that deal also, which means the one we always get comments on, uh, well, I don't know. They don't have a sticker on this particular one. Is that all Green Mountain? Okay, so it may not be on the uh, one we always get comments on, the original donut shop. Um, as we can see here, they do have the pods of the Dunkin', which are not on sale. They are $8.89, uh, which is actually not bad for a regular price because these are $10 pretty much everywhere. Uh, but it is on the buy 10, save 2 your next trip, or buy 15, save 4. And here's some Tim Hortons here, not on sale, but uh, somebody on the channel really loves Tim Hortons, so I thought I'd point it out that they have it. I uh, got the pods. I don't see any of the ground coffee of Tim Hortons, though. But yeah, a lot of this stuff is on that buy 10 or buy 15 sale. Um, wow, their coffee just keeps going up. This has gone from 429 479 last week 
to 4.99 now it just keeps going up in price that's now i don't know if it's really worth it i like the donut shop blend of the meyer but yeah i you know it just keeps going up it's crazy they still have not fixed the folgers here they still have the uh canisters of folgers whited out i maybe the prices are changing so fast they don't want for it to say anything i mean it says 10 10.89 under that but that price has probably obviously changed so they wouldn't have taped over those so we don't really know can't go with what we don't know uh that being said maxwell house has gone down to eight dollars and 49 cents on sale now we got some maxwell house drinkers might be a good time to buy this up we saw where maxwell house has been dropping in regular price at a lot of places that's a good sale though 849 and it is part of the buy 10 save two your next trip or buy 15 save four so if you bought a couple of these if you bought two of these you would get four dollars off on your next trip just just to buy a couple on sale here that's a good deal i just noticed that meyer has moved their peanut butter down here and it's a lot smaller section than it used to be um one thing too if you like different varieties of jam and jelly Myers usually has a lot of different options. Matter of fact, they're also getting some of their other peanut butters in here. The almond butter, we got a comment on this. Uh, the Meyer almond butter, that's the crunchy. They got the creamy there. These are $5.99. It's going to be a little bit more expensive for organic and almond butters, but you know, they have a lot of different options, and that's what we love in life options. Good to see they got the Peter Pan peanut butter back in. That's uh, probably our new favorite peanut butter, that honey roast. A lot of you guys on the channel turned us on to the honey roasted Peter Pan peanut butter here. It is great. We were buying this when they had the big, massive recall on Jif. They are loading down on Jif peanut butter. Hey, and we're seeing uh, not much. They only got the crunchy, but we haven't seen Myers peanut butter in a while. Like, it's just been missing. They do have the creamy up here. Just notice that. Okay, so I also noticed that they reversed the sugar on me here. Um, they do have a lot of the Meyer brand sugar that is two dollars and sixty five cents That is about the cheapest that we've seen the store brand sugar lately. Uh, they're all uh, pretty much Kroger's is 289 So most of them are up to three dollars. They got the Domino Let's see if this is the shrink flated one. It was four pounds, but it, yeah Okay, so it went down to three and a half pounds and they charge more for it now at six dollars and nineteen cents cheapest place for the four pounds of Domino sugar at 409 but they haven't had any in a while i like how they put their cane sugar here next to the next to the domino instead of keeping it together with that that's probably probably pretty smart three dollars and 19 cents for that cheaper than domino but yeah i don't know i mean they do have some here domino sugar you can get it in this but yeah you're gonna pay more for it now that's one pound yeah that's a bit much they do have the gold metal all-purpose flour on sale at Meyer for two or uh, two for seven dollars, three dollars and fifty cents. I want to mention they had the save twenty-five cents on one here, uh, instant savings here. So that's pretty good. They also have the ten pounds of the King Arthur all-purpose flour here for eight ninety-nine, down from nine ninety-nine. Um, they definitely have a good variety of the King Arthur here. We're always getting comments on like whole wheat flour and they're all the same prices except for the organic options here 539 for the whole wheat flour uh the stone ground and this is the 100 percent whole grain here got the bread flour here 539 you know i mean that's not that bad of a price when you know it's like kroger's i think kroger's had lowered their regular prices too we're gonna have to check but uh they were up to 649 and 699 on some of them some of the organic options are going to cost a little more 789 for the bread organic flour 789 for all purpose organic and whole wheat they've got smaller ones here but you know these are i don't know i mean if you're not going to use much i guess or if you don't want it sitting around these little ones are on sale for 4.99 for two pounds so we had some comments on canned fruits um they're about the same price everywhere two dollars and 39 cents they've kept going up uh, they're the same price at Kroger, uh, unless we find a sale on it. They do have uh, Myers in here, and it does look like they've got more uh, than they had last week. Uh, they've got now, ooh, dollar forty-five a can now. These were a dollar twenty-nine a can, so yeah, I don't know. These have gone up too. Dollar uh, forty-five for the mixed fruit too. That's the one I was looking for because I know that one was a dollar twenty-nine. Uh, wow, yeah, even those are getting a little. I mean, still cheaper than Del Monte. 
Uh, and let's see, they got the Dole here right about the same price. $239 for the crushed pineapple. Uh, it's good to see they're getting the Dole back in, though. We've been hearing all over the country. It's been really hard to find uh, some of the pineapple of the Dole. They do have the Meyer brand back in, $1.45. Meyer's doing a good job keeping these spices in here. As we were saying last year when we couldn't find spices in any of the stores around here, Meyer's was still loading them up. They must have good deal. You know, it's like, it seems like the prices can be a little more here. But you know, as we noticed with Publix down in the south, it's like, I'm sh they're probably paying more for their trucks to get it here. You know, they're probably paying top dollar because this is something that really sticks out at Meyer. I can say the same with some of the produce they get here at Meyer and the produce at Publix. That's one thing I noticed with the few stores that I visited down in Florida. The produce looked fantastic like I was at a farmer's market. You can see like some of these McCormick ones. Yeah, they're a little expensive, but I mean they have such a good variety here. Uh, different choices, you know, it's good to have choices. Um, you know, and they, they have some sales every now and then. They got the paprika here, $3.35, but 50% off uh, just says just 50% off. So I don't know. <laughs> That's not, it doesn't say off another one. That's usually what it is. I don't know. Huh? Okay. Well, I mean, there is lots of variety here. Some of the stuff, you know, it's pretty expensive. Some of the organic, this is all organic. It's going to be expensive, but it's good. They have these options. We've been getting a lot of comments lately on rice and dry beans. We were getting a lot of comments about this time last year on these kind of things. And this is something I will say. Whether it's on sale or, you know, as long as you're getting a decent deal on it, I wouldn't worry too much about the cost of things like this. Maybe find a deal where you know or maybe look around online. But we noticed this time last year, rice was just flying off the shelf. Same with beans. So if you need it, if you need it for the holidays or something, I would recommend buying up a couple or a few of these to make sure you have it. Because here in the next few weeks, I'd be willing to bet that a lot of this is going to be wiped out even more than what it is now. Same goes with pasta here. Um, you know, I would definitely get it if you don't have it because you can see here, there is no spaghetti. No spaghetti at all. There might be some Barilla over here, but there's none of the cheap dollar spaghetti that Myers carries there. You can see where they're just filling in shelves with tons of stuff that obviously not many people buy all the time. They do have fettuccine, but yeah, they're out of thin spaghetti. They do have the Barilla over here. It is $1.89. $2 a box now at Kroger. So $1.89 for this. Only save 10 cents. Not really worth going to an extra store, but you can see this is... Oh, no. They, okay, they got it here too. Okay. Oh, and that's the two pounds. Two pounds for $3.45. Making it a little cheaper per pound. Um, and you can see they've condensed this too. It's been condensed for a while. Uh, somebody was asking about lasagna noodles. They do have them here at Meyer, $1.55 a box, $2.69 for the lasagna. We've seen these at Kroger too, though. The ones that we have trouble finding are thin spaghetti, angel hair, regular spaghetti, and uh, that's pretty much it. We can find everything else. Elbow macaroni all over the place. Yeah, back from Meyer, um, not many great deals. There are some things on sale. I I feel like you can make the coffee work for you. Some of the ones that are on sale, like the Starbucks, and they have that spend 10, save $2 on your next trip. Uh, spend 15, save $4 on your next trip. So if you can get that mixed in with something on sale, I think you can make that work for you. And there are some other random things on sale, but nothing really stuck out to me as far as like Thanksgiving coming up. So we'll have to keep an eye on that stuff in the weeks to come. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember, the adventure is out there.